The video is dark, grainy, but still a valuable piece of bystander evidence capturing the killing of Anastasio Rojas by U.S. border agents in 2010. Oh my God. Anastasio was a long time resident of San Diego, California. He had a loving spouse and five children, all, all born in the United States. He did not have uh, papers and he was uh, deported to, to Mexico. He, of course, wanted to get back to his family and was trying to cross back into the United States when he was de detained by U.S. Border Patrol. During the arrest, agents kicked Rojas, re-injuring a previous ankle wound. When he asked for medical attention, they beat him, they kicked and punched him, they hit him with batons, they tased him multiple times, and he went into a coma. The homicide ruling did not result in any charges against the agents on the scene, an outcome that Altos learned is part of a larger pattern. In Border Patrol's almost 100-year history, uh, not a single agent has ever been held criminally accountable for a killing at the U.S.-Mexico border. The U.S. Border Patrol is the largest law enforcement agency in the country, with a staff of 60,000. Just in the two years around the Rojas killing, eight others were killed, including a 19-year-old while climbing the fence back to Mexico. After 13 years with no accountability in the Rojas case, Altos and her students, partnering with the nonprofit Alliance San Diego, have taken the case before the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights. Our students are confronted with the reality that the law is often used as a tool to marginalize, to disenfranchise. And reckoning with that is difficult for the students, but they don't disengage, they don't back away. I came actually to law school and to Berkeley specifically because I had seen some of the work that the Human Rights Clinic and specifically Professor Altholtz had been doing on another inter-American case and just remember looking at it and thinking, I want to do that, <laughs> whatever they're doing, I want to do that. I'm from Latin America, I'm interested in a career in Latin America and this project particularly in the Inter-American Commission for Human Rights, very important for me both personally and professionally, to understand the system. The Commission's purpose is to hold members of the Organization of American States, including the U.S., accountable for human rights violations. This case has to do with the... The legal team, joined by the Rojas family, presented its case at a video hearing before the Commission in San Diego, not far from the site of the homicide. When a state violates international human rights obligations, the state has the obligation to repair the harms caused and ensure that the violation does not happen again, to make the systemic and structural changes that need to be made so that these killings don't happen over and over and over again. The Commission's upcoming decision will set a precedent for numerous other cases waiting in the wings and potentially bring about important changes in law enforcement policies.